To review what we've been learning in grammar this week, please turn to page 338 in your student book. A complex sentence has two parts. The main part could stand alone as a simple sentence. The other part is called a dependent clause. It could not stand alone as a sentence because it does not express a complete thought. A dependent clause is joined to the main part with a connecting word that's called subordinating conjunction. Some examples are because, after, when, and if. So if you look at the examples here in the box in the middle of the page, you have the main part. A volcano is dangerous. This part is independent. It can stand by itself. Because is our subordinating conjunction, and the dependent clause that is not a complete thought is its lava is hot. You can look through the rest of these examples. You will see the main part, or the independent clause, and then the highlight is, this, is the subordinating conjunction, and the double underline is showing you the dependent clause. So you're going to look at the try this box, and you're going to pause the video, and you're going to write these sentences. You're going to underline the main part of the sentence once and underline the dependent clause twice. And then you're going to write a complex sentence for each pair of simple sentences using the subordinating conjunction that's in parentheses. So you can either discuss this with your learning adult or actually write them on paper and then discuss them with them. Come back to the video when you're done with the try this box. Top of page 339. Many short, simple sentences in a row can sound choppy. You can make your writing more interesting if you include a few complex sentences. Here are some more subordinating conjunctions that you can use. Although, as, before, since, though, unless, until, and while. You can also start a sentence with a dependent clause and then follow it with a comma. So here's a simple sentence. Lava flowed from the volcano. Another simple sentence, we stayed far away. The words that are in highlight um, in your book are the subordinating conjunctions. So while lava flowed from the volcano, we stayed far away. Okay, that's one way you could um, use these two simple sentences to complete a complex sentence. You could also put it, we stayed far away while lava flowed from the volcano. Same subordinating conjunction, but switch the simple sentences into a different order. Either way, it's going to make your writing sound more interesting and less choppy. So, as you revise your narrative next week, include some complex sentences. If two simple sentences sound choppy, then join them with a subordinating conjunction. We're going to practice combining um, short, simple sentences into complex, longer, smoother sentences. Turn in your reader's notebook to page 144. Again, it says short, choppy sentences can be combined to make your writing smoother. You can use a subordinating conjunction for complex sentences. Remember to use a comma if the dependent clause comes first in the sentence. It has some examples of the two short sentences and how to make them longer and smoother. And that's what you're going to do in 1 through 4. You're going to use a subordinating conjunction from the word bank to combine the two sh choppy short sentences and then write the new sentence on the line. So let's look at the first one. Tara's dog swims with her. It is not fond of water. Think about how you could use one of the subordinating conjunctions from the word bank to combine these two simple sentences. I would probably use though. Tara's dog swims with her though it's not fond of water. So I would write that new sentence on the line. You're going to do 2, 3, and 4 using a subordinating conjunction from the word bank and combining the two complete sentences into a complex one.